So Esther, I'm so proud of you, man. Keep this up. You are going to do incredibly well. And acquiring these sales skills, it's just a matter of investing enough time. And as you acquire new sales skills, sales are just going to start flowing through the door. The, the, the time you invest now, the time you invest in into growing and improving your sales skills, will be paid back to you in bucket loads down the road. Awesome. Okay, so let's have a look at what we need to do to develop and deploy our social selling strategy, right? So the first thing is, we need to understand, remember we're always talking about existing and future customers because we, we want to deploy both our social selling and our multi-channel communication strategy to both our existing and our future customers. So when we're thinking about content, remember, we've developed sales deck. So we have the top level sales deck, the CEO sales deck. We have the middle tier sales deck, which is for buyers. And then we have the bottom, the sales deck for users. So the C-suite sales deck puts pressure from the top down and the, and the users at the bottom put pressure from the bottom up. And the middle tier is the brass tax return on investment sales deck. So we've, we've got loads of content. We have our central space or our storage, our, our online uh, cloud-based storage facility where we store all of this information. But remember, most of the information that you're going to use with your customers will be similar because obviously your unique selling proposition is your unique selling proposition, whether you're talking to an existing customer or a future customer. So the, the message, the content, or sure, not the message, the content is very similar, but how you present the content, content, in other words, the message, the way you convey the message to existing and future customers is different in certain ways. So let's quickly have a look at it, right? So the first thing that you want to talk about is for existing customers, what does the content need to do? So the content, as far as existing customers, is, is to show appreciation. So when you're delivering content, it might be things like e-signs or e-books, where you're actually showing them or you're sharing information, valuable information with them, because you know what their challenges are, and you provide information to them that will help them to address those challenges. So it's appreciation, adding value. Things like, you know, you, you can send somebody um, an, an e-book. I mean, it sounds really crazy, but how about sending somebody an e-book? They, they might say to you something along the lines of, I'm really struggling with managing my time. Well, you send them an e-book on effective time allocation, for example. Or somebody is newly promoted and you give them um, an article or an e sign or something on leadership. So it doesn't necessarily relate to your product or your service. It shows appreciation. You know what? I really appreciate your business so much. I'm going to share this valuable content with you. You want to stay connected and show your commitment to form mutually beneficial supply agreements, right? So remember, we've just spoken about existing customers, now we're talking about new customers. So remember, when you're working with new customers, you've always got to remember, what's the purpose? Am I trying to create awareness? Am I at that stage? Am I trying to engage the customer? If I'm trying to engage the customer, at what stage are they at in my sales funnel? You've got to keep focused. It's all about research, understanding, making sure that you are customizing all of your messages. Next, you want to consistently show people appreciation. In other words, you want to consistently add value. And it's not just to existing customers. Yes, of course, existing customers want to create an unforgettable customer experience. We want to wow them. And we're going to use our multi-channel communication strategy to keep engaged with our customers, to make sure that we're not one of those 80% of customers who leave, don't leave because of price, quality, or service. They leave because of lack of appreciation. The wonderful, one of the powerful things that are multi-channel communication strategy and part of that multi-channel communication strategy or social selling strategy gives is it gives you a whole lot of different powerful ways to remain engaged to connect with your customer to add value to supply them with information to offer two-way communication so it gives you a whole lot of additional ways to appreciate your customer 
But let's not forget about our future customers. We also need to add value to them. We also need to have a system to show them appreciation. Because remember, what we're starting to do while we're building the relationship is what we're going to continue doing once we've got the relationship. So in other words, if we're going to be using a multi-channel communication strategy to wow our customers on an ongoing, our existing customers on an ongoing basis, we need to understand how can we start doing that already? Because the more you can show appreciation, the more you can show you care, the more you can show that you're there for the long run, the more likely a future customer is going to want to start building that mutually beneficial supply partnership with you and your organization. You also, when we're talking about existing customers, think about content. How can you, let's say for example, you've identified a group of customers where they have similar, uh, similar challenges and you've targeted them with a Facebook advertising campaign where you're showing them that um, this new product, this new, this new service product is going to help and support them to go from a, a, a partially desirable state to a much more desirable state. You're helping them to identify, or should I rather say you've identified the cross and upsetting opportunities, but you're helping them to accept, or should I rather say, start going out. I'm aware of that. It's not a bad idea so that when you raise the subject, remember social media is more about creating awareness. It's more about um, showing value. It's more about showing appreciation. You never sell on social media. Right, so that's with social media, when it comes down to developing and deploying, you need to remember it's about what content do we need? Do we have content? Do we need to create additional content? What different media? Am I going to use Facebook, LinkedIn? Am I going to use a combination of Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter? Am I going to create e-signs or e-books? And how am I going to deploy all of this? Because once you've got this absolutely powerful multi-channel communication strategy in place, you've done the work. You are going to be absolutely surprised at how quickly and how easily you close future business and how appreciative your existing customers are because you're always there, not interrupting, adding value.